In 1997, I had a brain tumor, and that knocked out the hearing in my left ear, pretty much about 85% of the hearing. And I got a hearing aid that kind of opened up sound to that side. My audiologist was telling me that at some point, there's going to be a hearing aid that Bluetooth. And then over the years, I've lost hearing in my right ear. And then it got to the point where Resound worked with Apple and came out with a hearing aid that Bluetooth with the phone and pulled the trigger and got the hearing aid. Were you ever using a hearing aid that wasn't connected? My left one was, just on or off. Really? It was, it was like, just... And if I needed to change the settings in that hearing aid, I would have to go to the audiologist and they would have to do everything on the computer setting. So tell me what it was like when you first got the technology that connected your hearing aid to your phone. It was amazing. I mean, it's night and day. To be able to answer the phone without taking the hearing aid out and putting the phone up to your ear. So were you counting down for the Apple Watch? I didn't realize when I had heard about the Apple Watch everything you were going to be able to do on it. I mean, I thought, you know, an Apple Watch really, you know, kind of a cool toy. Once I saw what I'm able to do with the hearing aids, it's another great feature. To be able to use the music when I'm running and have that Bluetooth through the hearing aid, it's amazing. Otherwise, I would have to wear headsets. And if I wore headsets, I wouldn't have the hearing aid. I'd hear the music, but I'm not going to hear traffic as well. So anything I can hear through my phone, now all of a sudden you have access to in your hearing exactly. aids through Bluetooth. Exactly. Whereas before, to wear a Bluetooth headset, you wouldn't be able to wear a hearing aid. So walk me through and show me how you're using the watch with your hearing aids and your phone. This is actually my hearing aid app because I've been using it that's the first one that comes up. So there are four settings. What are the four different options? There's an all-around setting. I can adjust the bass and the treble in that setting also. There's a restaurant setting. There's a music setting. And then there's an outdoor where it can, I can actually block out some of the wind noise. One of the big concerns that a lot of people have about the watch is the battery. What happens if the battery on these die? The hearing aid still works. Uh -huh. The hearing aid batteries are completely separate from the phone and the watch. Can you adjust them then? I can still cycle through all the programs. I just won't be able to fine tune. Honestly, the hearing aid batteries are more important to me than the phone battery and the watch battery. So I have batteries at home. I have batteries in my car. I have batteries in my locker at work. Do you ever feel like you have just too much, too much technology? Yeah, between the hearing aid, the watch, and the phone, or are you just grateful um, that you have? I'm it? so grateful. Like God has blessed me with so many ways of different technology like this because it really has opened up so much. If it means that I'm tied to these gadgets to improve the way that I'm hearing things, then so be it.